Humans, delighted, welcome. I am uh, here. Salutations. We're in the year 2020. We're in the future now. That's, we've arrived, I mean, it's literally only been one week into the future and it already feels like, I don't know, is it May right now? Mm -hmm. uh, it's yeah. 100 days still cyberpunk, boys. What? What is it? Cyberpunk 2077, it's less than 100 days. Yeah, I don't yeah, believe it I when gotta... I see it. I mean, they maybe. push back the release all the time. They did that a lot with Witcher Three as well. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. My real beef is that they keep pushing back the tabletop RPG release, even though the game is already done. Cyberpunk Red. Yeah. 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 I, I I can understand why they want to tie it into that shit as much as possible. So I want to play sense. it now. I want it now. I paid for it already. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. <laughs> they delay the game. <laughs> they delay Cyberpunk twenty seven seven to like twenty twenty three, and then they delay Cyberpunk Red until the month before Cyberpunk releases. <sighs> uh, now here's what right. it is. Here's what it is. The Olympics start. All the countries come in to Tokyo and they're going through the Olympic stuff. And then as the man lights the cauldron with the, with the Olympic torch, a fucking pedestal rises up and there's Cyberpunk 2020 sitting there. Uh, <laughs> he so installs it onto a computer. <laughs> air chair, uh, armchair. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's Keanu Reeves with a, with a guitar that's not plugged in, but over the speakers, there's like Van Halen doing his... That's right. Do some oh, like tin, tin foil all up his arm. Tin foil. And he's like, I think we can do better than tin foil. All right, and look. then he says, wake up, samurai. <laughs> Here's the thing y'all at home need to know. Occasionally, we got a pauldron to burn. No. <laughs> occasionally, when my cat does something stupid, she'll injure herself in the process, and then she'll walk around in a circle, pretend that it didn't happen, and then leave the area. Today, I recently bought some new like a new bench couch combination thing i don't know how it's gonna work out when i tried it at the store i was like this is comfortable but now there's like this weird squeaking noise occasionally so if my face disappears off camera and then the stream suddenly stops just know it's not because uh the anything has broken or anything has disassembled itself it's a totally unrelated different reason that's it's, what I it's because of the bench couch or the bouch. <laughs> Ouch. Damn you, bouch. Well, I don't know. I, I, I would be perfectly fine I have one of those doing the stream things. from the floor. We can, we can do it from the floor. Like Are everyone we will just all going to sit on the floor at the same time? Is this... Yeah, we'll just lay down. Is this I mean, like... And we'll just do it from the floor. I'm, freshman... like six, I'm like six inches off the floor right now. So. Freshman college, 102 courses, and you're with that one arts professor where they're oh, like... God. Let's just go out to the quad. It's the summer. Well, we'll have class outside. And I was the, like, no. So, and they're like, when, well, as long as everyone's in agreement, we can do it. And I'm like, no. When, when I went to, when I lived in Athens back in my elementary school days, they built an outdoor classroom. And it was like, you know, it's getting kind of towards the end of the school year. And like, oh, yeah, you know, we'll, you know, we had like a dedicated reading, like study hall, whatever. They, well, we'll go out there, whatever. And it's like, you know, getting towards like May in fucking Athens, Georgia. So it's like 85% humidity, like 9,500 wow. degrees. And we're like, ah, no, we were out there for like 10 minutes. I fucked that, went back inside. Ooh, Nick, what did you, you know, do to my you... face? You're sucking on your finger. Jesus. It says thinking, but I like to think you're just. You're just, you're just doing a smell check. You're being sexy. <laughs> smell check. I, I put a hat on him last time. It looked pretty good. Okay. Glad you're all amused by that. Uh. Yeah. In the new year, I've already re-injured myself. You know, that's what you generally need to continuously re-injure the right side of your body over and over again. Um, you know what they say, don't even it up. Always just take it on one side, you know. It's Only fine. Right. It's not... Only chew on one side of your mouth. <laughs> that way, no when you're that. old, the other side of your mouth is pristine. No one... And you only have to get half the dentures. Where did this you know? chewing you, thing you, come you, from? You save time um, brushing your teeth by only having to brush half of it. This man, totally this man brushes. Brush. This man brushes right. his teeth. You it sounds tell. like he doesn't brush his teeth. I, I, <laughs> I save like three minutes a day. Apply a battle tech strategy to everything in your life. 
That's right. Just turn, turn slightly to the left. Turn slightly <laughs> to the right. <laughs> oh boy! Listen, I should mention that by the way is that I have a new BattleTech show starting up soon, uh, and everyone involved in it is way too excited. It's like it's every time I talk to them, it's like a bunch show. of puppies on Christmas morning, bounding out towards me, and I'm like, okay, calm down. You'll be jaded soon enough, kids. I was about to say, I'm about to say, you'll, they'll, they'll, they'll get that shit gone right. So wait, are you doing this on Tabletop Simulator? Or yeah, like, what's the deal? just like my no? other, my other battle nice, shows on yeah, Tabletop cool. Simulator, but it'll be, um, it'll be a slightly edited, recorded, to Patreon first, and then- To, con to contrast, no Twitch, before, we, no Twitch before we started the Warhammer show, everybody in it's already been on the show, they're like, oh man, this is gonna be a fucking shit show. <laughs> Because we all we all kind of knew. Yeah. Even now, listen. Last week, Atomic was like, "I've ne I haven't played a role playing game in like three months. I'm so angry. I want to play a role playing game." I mean, you you. He it's a little down. exaggerated. That but... is not exact. Just I like, like this new voice that you're doing, Arthur. It's uh, I was it's like, fucking I'm ready to tier, fucking dude. play some <laughs> shit. I was bored out of my mind. There it is. See. That, I mean, this is that premium content that I want, where people say that they need me. All right, the, I mean, I'll, I was playing that one game that I will on actually Fridays. take that. We just got to get you to like say enough words so we can synthesize a voice for Agron with that voice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think I don't think I've ever heard AP be angry enough to synthesize Agron to be. A hey, listen. I said heard. I, didn't I have say. I have seven rules for streaming. There's eight because there's a zero rule. And not streaming while you're upset is number six. AP doesn't get angry, he just gets sad. See, no, if, if, I, if I had a rule of not getting angry, then I just wouldn't ever stream, because 90% of my stream is just ranting. I just covered this on Pokemon, that people have no idea who I am, apparently. Like, um, last year I was called a number of different things. You know, not just AP or Arthur, but people called me things like Papa, Daddy, Father, mama girlfriend i'm like who who is this person you're addressing i'm none of those things all of those people were me by the way none of them were you. <laughs> don't even try to claim credit for that dave i'm calling you girlfriend from now on because I think that's <laughs> okay girlfriend. girlfriend let's do yeah. it Sputnik. let's do it girlfriend absolutely no, no, we, gotta, we, we gotta bring back the the old favorite i <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the Henley yeah, classic right there. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only only Henley can Why do that properly Chats... though. It's the Australian yeah. accent. Why is chat spamming yeah. Daddy yeah. AP? I don't I... understand. And it's I mean, all you, of the fake Grand Order you, people too. You brought it up, so I mean, what did you expect? <sighs> you did this to yourself, girlfriend. But, that's about yeah. to say, you literally Listen, did do it yourself. So Nick, you, me, box wine, sex in the city. Let's get it oh, done. Oh my god. Yo. Can you not kink shame I, chat, please, I, by the way? I, <laughs> hey, I'm only maybe an eight hour drive from you. Don't fucking tempt me. Let me tell you something. All right. I'm bringing the fucking boxed rose, bitch. I Arthur got, Perkins. Oh, I will, I will fund, I will fund that meetup. But you have to, you have to put a camera behind you two, like on a it's couch. Like, it's like drunk and history, do like but these two. Yeah, no, they they have to they have to do the uh, what is it called when they do the movie reviews and they had the jokes and shit. Oh, oh mystery, mystery science. science oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do a mystery science theater, but call it mystery sex theater, and it's just you guys watching Sex in the City. Oh my god, I, I hate that being title. Drunk I, <laughs> listen, I'm not opposed to the idea, but I hate that title. <laughs> I kind of love that title. Oh, Look, it's clickbait. If at the, if at the end of it, you're not just like, yo, Mr. Big was the best human being on, oh, in shit. this in this show. Maybe we need to fly yeah. Dave over because he knows the fucking like, non-main characters. I don't know anything about it, so. Yo, oh, Mr. Big. Mr. Big. For a treat. Oh, man. Then we can call every, every relationship an AP and then just start oh. a new thing. I've already got my wine, so... <laughs> Uh, I've got some, uh... Aw, oh, they're an AP! <laughs> I don't like this. I have two more things to lay out. One, there once was a show called Golden Girls. Oh, yeah. It was a show about being the old. The original Sex in the City. It was yeah. a show about being old. At that time, Betty White and was the oldest laid. cast member. All right? <laughs> She is now the only living cast member, and that show was 30 years ago. She will never die. She's like the Queen of England, or that 117-year-old uh, Japanese woman. 
me and my wife and our friends went to a Golden Girls bar trivia night and came in third place. Excellent. I don't know anything about it except that Betty White is old as fuck <laughs> and still yes. doing shit. She's older than sliced bread. Uh, is that really? That, oh, that is true. Sliced bread was what, 1928? So we really knew really? born in like 1926, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you saying to me that sandwiches didn't exist before? So you're talking about as, this? Far as, as far as you we know to them? Slice your bread on your own. It didn't yeah. come in a bag that pre sliced. The mechanization oh, of sliced bread I mean, was oh, like 1928. On. Yeah, but that, that's like saying, like, before no, they Dave, worked no, out how to mechanize no. sliced I, bread. Listen, Dave, no, I know, I know <laughs> you, I know you, before you were married, did you, would you have gone through the effort of slicing a loaf of bread every time you wanted to have a sandwich? This guy, Arthur Perkins, sounds like he's never cooked his own bread. What the fuck? You know what oh, shit, son. <laughs> I literally did a cooking show for Swargula about how to cook stuff. Yeah, but Swargula is not the type of guy that would even know how to crack an egg. I, I can understand agree. that. I think, I I think the only time I slice my own bread is when I get sourdough. All right. Yeah, okay. That's I slice fine. my own bread more than I don't slice my own bread. I've been making my own bread for two and a half years. Well, yeah, you can make it, but I mean... Okay, let me let me tell you a fact about Poland I haven't told anyone yet. You know how you go to a... They still don't have sliced bread. They just put no. two loaves together to make a sandwich. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You go <laughs> to a shopping center... bread is made of jello. You can't free slice that. You get... <laughs> Fuck you. But when you, go, when you go to a supermarket and you're like, I'm going to buy some bread. Guess what they call that bread? They call the sliced bread that you buy in a supermarket, they call it toast. Like it's bread that's not cooked, but it's toast. You can only use it for toasting. You're not allowed to make a sandwich out of it. What? If a Polish person sees you with toast bread making a fucking sandwich, they will be like, yo, you fucking savage. You fucking savage. Go buy a loaf of bread from the baker right now and you slice that shit, nerd. You know what? Fuck Iran. Let's bomb Poland. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I just want to point out that, uh, that is his personal view, not shared by <laughs> anyone else. AP told me to say it in our private I Discord did channel. Not, that definitely does not sound like something I would tell anyone to say. I don't know. You two are girlfriends. It's hard to tell now. Uh, <laughs> number, so, the last thing I have to say on my intro list right here. Uh, we, I'm slowly wait, getting back. Wait, 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 wait. You know that, you know that like... Uh-huh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You know that question, like, I'm what, do you, finish. I'm what, do you, what do you put in a toaster? Yeah. And people say toaster, you're like, Haha, no, bread, Poland. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. They solved that yeah, problem. Yeah, that's it. It's they probably that, that someone fell to that joke once, decided they would never fall to it again, wrote an etiquette book. Yep. I mean, I assume that's how I shall not goes. eat supermarket bread. It's toast. <laughs> All right, so I've been I've been slowly getting back into the animes. It turns out there's only two animes worth watching coming up. That's it. Mob Psycho no. 102. No. Hello no. Kitty. No. Oh. It's Vinland Saga. <laughs> Vinland Saga's over. Oh, it is okay. I think so. Yeah. Uh, hey, a camp. Okay. That's pretty much it. Isn't there the okay? What's the one with the dancing pink-haired girl? It's like love battle or oh, something man. like that. Hang on, you're describing uh, every anime. Dancing pink anime girl. Three and a half million yeah. results. Page. Oh, one. look at that! It, it it shows up on the first fucking thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, it doesn't give me a name though. I think it's dancing pink hair and wow, it actually auto filled that. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Kaguya Summer Love Is War is that's apparently not, fucking. That's not for a while. Uh, that's not it? for like six uh, months. It oh, just okay. ended because it just Last ended. Season, yeah. Okay. I I don't know anything then. Don't mind me. The dancing girl he's talking about is Shika Fujiwara. Don't worry about it. Yeah, these are words. They they are words. 
in the way that you can combine two to four letters into a syllable and then string those syllables together to make a word. But honestly, sliced bread is not called toast. <clears throat> you know Seriously. what, drummer boy? Let's just go ahead and do your intro now. You know, I feel like I've been dispirited. I'm, I'm too angry. <laughs> You really upset him about this whole fucking you do, what, do you want? Do you want me? Do you want a uh, piece of toast to get your blood pressure up or something? Like... <laughs> toast takes a good two to three minutes to toast. Okay. Good job, Poland. You upset Canada. You know how fucking hard that is to do. Oh, what if you could buy your toast pre-toasted? Would you do that? No, because no, then it's not, it's not. I mean, it's not warm. <laughs> you, no, you just gotta point. You just gotta heat it up. <laughs> Yeah, but it's not and the it's same. That, that, that's reheating. But it's already it. toasted. But that's, then you're, that's, getting, you're, 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 reheat, you're not reheating it. You're not initially heating it. The student, but then you're going to have like chewy toast. Look, man, I don't make the rules. I just live in them, okay? In, in, the, in the little commissary where I work, they in their refrigerator, they sell uh, grilled cheese sandwiches sometimes. And it's nice. like bread is pre-toasted. And you nice. put it in the microwave and then... Nice. And then you really feel bad about yourself. Yeah, you mm -hmm. should feel bad if you're microwaving grilled yeah. cheese. That's that feels like buying a, it's like buying a grilled cheese from Seven Eleven. It's like eating a canned <laughs> hamburger. Like, don't do it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm adding that to my bucket list. <laughs> it's the last like, thing on the bucket the list. Last thing on the bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> he died doing what he loved, eating canned hamburgers. <laughs> God. Oh, my God. What the fuck? It's, well, you can tell it's been a while since all of all five of us have been together. I don't, listen, I don't know if I remember how to stream tabletop RPG shows. I did Wrath and Glory like a zombie, and now we're here. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, was, that was fun. Anyway, I'm Durham Boy. I make music. Uh, the sound pack still isn't out. Still got to check up on that. Um... I've just been like in full on holiday mode, man. I watched the Witcher series. That was that was better than expected. I mean, I don't uh, know how it could be better than expected. I expected it to be excellent. I mean, it's a Netflix with Henry Cavill going, oh, fuck yeah, this is going to be the best thing I ever did in my entire career. Fuck Superman. It's that's true. But like, <laughs> I, I was like cautiously optimistic. And then the first episode, I'm like, wow, OK. Yeah, and then the, I mean the, you know, the that, only the only problem the is end of the first episode was fucking yeah. awesome. And then the, the, the only the, mm. at the end of the whole season, I was like, "Wow, okay, I'm ready for season two when the actual story starts." Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only problem I have with it is that they 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 took the short stories and made the show out of it, which is why it felt so like blah 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 all the time. I understand. I understand all why the time they want skipping all the, and you yeah. want all like the backstory to happen season one and then season two it's like now you know now you know all these characters please continue. but the thing is the thing is the the short stories were all just Geralt and all that sort of stuff but then they put siri in there as well yeah because they so combined that, they combined a couple parts of the book to make it more of a like a cast of characters for the first one. yeah yeah Which and I'm, I'm cool with it turned out fine, but I would have like I would watch now that I've seen it. I would watch a version of it that's like chronological. But would you toss a well. coin to your Witcher? Oh my god! Dude, I've seen so okay, many. Okay, you think it's bad in you think it's bad up. in America? Come to fucking Poland, okay? <laughs> Come to fucking Poland and then just be like, okay, yeah. Have you guys it, have you guys uh, seen the? Uh, the the trap remix someone made on Twitter. I've had that version in my head. Oh, I've God. just seen like six different metal versions that like all the. I've seen all the metal versions. A lot of them are like kind of just okay. The trap version is actually really good. It's like is, wow. How, so do you guys get Netflix ads anywhere other than just on Netflix anywhere in America? Yeah. Well, like. On Twitter and YouTube, there's Netflix ads. On. I okay, I mean, like ads. outside of the outside of the internet, like when you're out in real life, do you get ads for oh, Netflix at all? No. I don't leave my house. So okay, yeah, I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, so I went to a public restroom and there was a, a poster for The Witcher inside of <laughs> the bathroom. Here, that uh, went very Paul. differently than how I thought that I was gonna go. You, you <laughs> looked down. There, 
<laughs> you look down, there's a urinal puck with GS gear going. Yeah. I pissed <laughs> off Geralt today. What did you do? Yeah. So that's, that's the thing that I'm saying. It is, it is <laughs> bringing it back around. Right. It is literally blanketed over here. Like you can't get away from it. It is fucking everywhere. And, the and it's good up, reason. The fucked up part is that it's not on Polish Netflix. Can't even no, it is. It. You got a VPN in the US. What? No, I'm it just, totally is, dude. That's a fucking joke, dude. Ah. Uh, well, I mean, I, I, understand, I understand why it's such a big deal. I mean, the last time Poland was this popular it was 1939. Wow. Oh, my God. So anyway, to bring the discussion back to S Dermer Says Blade. the guy who opened this up with 100 days to cyberpunk, motherfucker. Toss up best you know character in Mando. Uh, oh, also, yeah. CD Projekt uh, made nice with the author of The Witcher, so we might get a Witcher 4. Not with Geralt, but with more of that universe, which I'm totally in for. Yeah. I'll, I'll, oh, yeah. I need to tell you, I don't know if you know this, but I follow a lot of artists on Twitter. Mm -hmm. There's so much Witcher OCs right now. Oh, Literally yeah? everyone in their family has just like popped up and been like, so well, anyway, like, she's School of the Bear. Well, like Witcher 3 just got its highest concurrent. Yeah, it, it was, like it's more popular now than it was when it launched. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's over a hundred thousand, which I mean, I can't get it. Players concurrently, which I know there's a ton of people. That's there's what happens people. when you please the normies, man. That's what happens when you please the normies. Now, if there was a good Game of Thrones video game, it would have done well. Unfortunately, yep. that has never happened. No, well, plus, just plus, which you got the, the whole thing of you know the show came out and then like what two weeks later, Steam Winter Sale game was on sale the whole time. It's like fucking, it was on sale everywhere. It's just half my play like friends have just all been replaying the game. Yeah. Uh -huh. But when I finished, like I played, I think it was two years ago, I played Witcher 1 to Witcher 3 and all the DLCs like over the weekend, just straight through. At the end of that, I said like I would play a game that was just focused on the sorcerers. Wait, you played Witcher 1 all the way to 3 in a weekend? No, over the course of many weekends. It was like a year and a half almost. I was about to say, holy fuck, dude. No, no, dude. It took me like, it took me like, the better part of a year to do all that but at the end yeah. of that i was like i would play i even i forget the name of the sorceress collective in the witcher 3 is like the lodge or the council or yes. whatever the lodge yeah the lodge, lodge. Yeah. i would i would play a game about the lodge man that's that shit's fucking interesting uh i will say this i missed the gambling mechanics from witcher 1 and 2 in witcher 3 i wish they brought that over i liked witcher 1 like the dice game the yeah, the dice game. game was real good. Yeah, I never played Gwent. Like, I didn't care about it. Oh, so. fancy game of Gwent. Yeah, no, I was, I I was never. Care. I was. I was never really in a. But uh, I like also, Gwent. I I'm still also, play uh, Gwent on my phone. I'm, a, yeah. I'm finally about halfway through the Mandalorian because it's all the way out on uh, Disney Plus now. Oof. Yeah, that's good. I'm up, okay. I'm up so to good. like need... episode seven, eight, which I'm told are the best ones. So I'm. Gonna, oh yeah. <laughs> and oh what a great villain oh my god i i i i was like going through that show and it's like that the last like the last couple i was like oh man i had i had a couple of feels there and it's like damn yeah i'm gonna watch seven eight nine in a row though probably yeah. like tomorrow night and then cancel disney plus because that's all i wanted it for was mando really yeah, i mean i mean i just watch with... the 4k versions of all the star wars movies man okay. everything national geographics has ever made I understand that all of the Simpsons is on there as well, and it's yeah. even Did they, they have a Simpsons category three, for episodes where Simpsons predicted the future, including President Trump. Did yeah, they there's fix a whole category for that. Well, yeah. did, they, did they ever fix the whole Simpsons format? Because they did, so they know. fucked with some of the oh, older yeah, ones. They made it where it was too small or something? I don't and know. it was cutting off know. a bunch of like, no, there were they, a lot of episodes they, where like references are getting cut off. They cropped shit. four, they cropped four by three to 16 by nine. So like the top of the screen, the bottom of the yeah. screen are getting cut. Yeah, a lot of people were really, really um, miffed about that. Yeah, but that's all I've been doing really is like watching The Witcher. Um, I read some, I read some books, which was kind of nice for the holidays. Uh, I did a little bit of work on some music stuff, but not much really. I just took it super easy. I got super fucking sick, which I'm still kind of like nauseous and dizzy, but that's just because I'm not eating enough. So. Uh, I want to apologize to all the audience because at some point while everyone was talking, 
I was like, oh, I'm just going to go check on my Steam library now that we're talking about Steam. And I went over to the store flash side. flashed the screen? No, it didn't flash the screen. But let me... some The autoplay video must have been enabled uh, with music. And I was like, oh my god, this is so loud! How do I get it to stop? It took forever. <laughs> oh, I've also been playing a lot of the Destiny 2 uh, Christmas thing. Yeah, I heard there was a huge oh, amount of complaints about Destiny 2 about to show up on the Reddit again. Something uh, about yeah. ornamental yeah. battle armor. The the Iron Banner was fucking bullshit. You have to like you have to complete a quest line before you can hand in tokens to receive rewards for that. And one of the the last part of the mission was to kill people with power weapons in multiplayer. And there's only one spawn every two minutes for the power are for the power mm -hmm. So everyone was just camping that. And it was a fucking mess. I didn't even complete it. I'm just saving my 300 tokens till next Iron Banner. That yeah. right. Listen, what you're talking about reminds me of Planet Side. In order to earn the ability to use Battle Max, you had to go into the caves. Oh. And you had to kill like 300 people with pistols in caves. And so oh really, God. really good players with sniper rifles would sit there in caves and wait for you to come down a zip line. I'd just be like, sniper rifle, you know, assault rifle. They would fucking annihilate. All these fucking cavers annihilated anyone who wanted their battle mech license. Yeah. I felt like a god when I finished that. Yeah, I know exactly <laughs> what you're fucking talking about. You know what about, I'm talking Alvin. about. That shit was a nightmare. Yeah. But I finally, I finally watched, it was a four hour <laughs> lore video about Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 up until like the current season. So no, I actually... I understand the references that are happening because I never played Destiny 1. So oh, okay. I, under Look, I understand the history. I understand the references that are happening now. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. <laughs> so someone, when Same Destiny 1 came cool. out, when it was fresh, someone took all of the words involved in Destiny 1 and then painted them into somebody's high school notebook. And it was, it's just like the light, the traveler, the darkness. And I was like, yeah, this does seem like an edgy teenager's idea. Wizard from the moon. Yeah. I'm the speaker and the speak. The S on the you, can, you, you can tell at what point the guy started smoking weed in high school. Like yeah. that's yeah. like. Uh. But I finally understand all that shit. And it makes a difference for my enjoyment because like. The lore in that game, you kind of have to dig for, yes. which I don't have yes, a problem with, but I didn't know any of the precursor stuff. So it's like, I didn't yeah. get much out of it. Now I'm actually getting stuff out of it and it's kind of cool. I think there was somebody who went through for the Elder Scrolls games. I, I know they did it for three Oblivion and Skyrim. They went through and oh. they they like transferred all of the, the books to like, it's like an online uh, repository. So you can read all of the books without having to track them all down. I'm I'm lost about the Argonian maid, man. Lost no. the Argonian <laughs> maid. Let me tell you something. I've, someone was like, "Yeah, you should look up everything about this this cat Vicar Vekar. He's a real cool Elder Scrolls character." So I start reading his bio, and then I have to read fucking fifty Wikipedia articles to understand what they're talking about. They're like, "He was a chimmer. Now he's a dwimmer. Then he became a chim." And I'm like, I don't know what any of those things are. I played Skyrim twice, and I don't understand a single word this motherfucker yeah. says. Girlfriend, we'll talk. They were like, there's a tower. It has eight spokes, but you can only look at it sideways. And I'm like, what the fuck is... What? Towers aren't made of, of spokes. That's not what a spoke is. A spoke is attached to a wheel. And they're like, well, it's also a wheel. And I'm like, how can a tower be a wheel? Atomic Toast spoon. I'm is upset. Not free sliced bread. <laughs> Atomic spoon. Let's jump over to you. Um, I don't. I've really been doing a whole lot since Saturday. I mean, I, did, I guess people that were here Saturday. Um, we uh been writing some stuff for my Friday game because I was I opened my mouth. I was like, write a backstory for Warforged. That I'm doing. And I'm like, oh, I could do it as like a like an audio log kind of thing. And now everybody wants me to do it. Then I'm like, fuck. So now I've got to take the thing I wrote and convert it to a script and do a whole thing, whatever. But um, so I've been doing that, been doing a little model work and started working my Imperial Knight here, my Chaos Knight. So that's, you know, it's been fun uh, painting some stuff. I think I posted some pictures on AP's Discord of the some of the uh, Chaos Marines I've been working on. Um, it's really been about it, I mean, that listening to music as per usual. And then I've started the um, 
I had I re listened to the Eisenhorn series um, because they're making going to make a show out of it. There's four major Eisenhorn books plus all like the short stories or whatever. And then there's another series called Ravener, which is his like protege. And then it's kind of along the same timeline, but from his point of view, like they diverge at one point and so I've been listening to those. So it's what January 8th and I've already listened to 48 hours of audiobook <laughs> this year. So it's been doing that. So eh, it's a good time. You know, it's why Audible gets so much of my fucking money. But other than that, it's been about pretty much about it. I haven't really been playing any games um, other than my Friday D&D game and then Wrath and Glory and then obviously back here. So it's pretty much been it. Oh, the vouch is given out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Finley. Hmm? Let's talk about you. Hello, about me. Um, well, let's see. Um, I that coordinated water drink though. Yeah, that's gotta yeah. stay hydrated, man. You gotta stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Get that hydro homies. Um, <laughs> oh my god, I, god. I want to make a game called the Hydro other. Homies. You don't know about you don't know about that. I didn't want to say the other one. There's, yeah, def there's definitely the a gang. No. There's definitely no. a gang in Cyberpunk named the Hydro Homies. No, the no. Hydro Homies, the Hydro Homies are a group of dudes in the Olympic management simulator. <laughs> right. Anyway. <laughs> oh gosh. AP knows what I'm talking about. Oh, I know. Listen, it's a Reddit <laughs> about drinking water. Dave. Yeah. It had a second Reddit with a very different name that got An original banned Reddit. Yeah. for being banned. super racist. <laughs> yeah, even though even though it was just about drinking water, the name of it was so bad that Reddit I was, was like, I was gonna Google it and then I heard that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please don't. Yeah. I, was, I was gonna say the Hydro Homies could be a gang in Cyberpunk, and they're like all like the Chads who have enough money that they just they just stay around like at the beach oh. and then ride jet skis. No, I mean, there's a there's a Twitter bot that will keep you hydrated. I follow it. Uh, it's called like Water Bitch, and it <laughs> Water Bitch. <laughs> It'll just be like, "Are you drinking enough water, bitch?" Bitch. <laughs> I, I know there's I know there are apps for that that'll like go off an alarm like every so often and remind people. Do they do they use like gifs like a whole bunch of Samuel L. Jackson gifs? It's called. No, but they use gifs. It's called at Drink Water Ho. Okay. All right, Spoot. I see you. <laughs> I'm looking at it in chat. <laughs> Drink water, hope. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so, been writing. <laughs> anyway, I've uh, been writing. Uh, didn't get as much done as I wanted to over the holidays, but, you know, they're busy. But still did some. Um, let's see. Uh, oh. Uh, if you have a Switch, I don't know if it's on other platforms. I haven't looked. But there's a game called uh, uh, Children of Morta, uh -huh. and it's really fucking good. Yeah, I know the guys who made that. That's a um, Polish game. It's really good. It, um, is is Brian Cox the narrator in that game? Because it sounds like Brian Cox. Uh, maybe. I haven't looked I, it up. I don't. I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so. It's, either, a, because... it's a Polish game. Well, and it's well not only that, but it's like a super indie game that I got on sale for like seven ninety nine, which was totally worth it. I think even full price is like fifteen bucks, which I would have happily paid. Um, which Brian Cox, the one from like uh, Succession on HBO or like Braveheart, the fucking English dude, or is he English or Scottish? Or Old dude, about... white beard. I don't know. Different brain code. He played uh, uh, Tommy Boy's dad. That guy. Uh, it doesn't look like it. No. Nah. Well, anyway, it sounds just like it. But the, the cool thing about it is it's a roguelike RPG. Um, but like every time you, almost every time you die, it tells you more of the story of this family. You're this family that is like the protector of this realm. And shit is getting corrupted. And... As you progress in the game, you unlock other family members that have other skills, and when you can, you can improve the skills for all the family members or just single family members, and there are some skills on the single family members that when you upgrade them, teach the other family members skills. Um, 
it's it's a beautiful looking game it's you know it's the pixelated art style but like the backgrounds are beautiful um it's a i suck at video games so it's not easy um if you're better at video games it might be easier i don't know i have a hard time judging difficulty of games because i'm so bad at them i mean i've only so, been playing video games for like 30 years but what's it know. called children of morta m-o-r-t-a oh, yeah 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 it's really fucking good yeah really good and like uh every time you go back in you know the the map is procedurally generated and you can you always want to explore the whole level because sometimes there will be quest items you can find sometimes they're not there so it really it it, it drives you to explore the whole map rather than just like rushing to the boss because you can get um, items that uh, um, like yeah. progress certain like sub stories and things like that. Like it's it's also ha it has couch uh, co op like just drop in couch co op and play, which is fucking awesome. Looks like it's like twenty five bucks on Steam as well. Oh, okay, so it's on Steam too. Um, I I pay twenty five dollars for it. I, I like I said, I got it on sale. It was on sale on Switch a few weeks ago. It might still be, and I think it was like seven or eight dollars i mean it was it was like a deep discount um mm -hmm. but it's super good if you've not played it it is a oh, really good um and it's it's a great game for the switch too because especially if you're like you know playing undocked and traveling somewhere you can because it's a roguelite you can <clears throat> play it for like 10 minutes and then put it down or whatever um but i mean i've definitely played it for like a few hours at a time uh, the wife's play it with me. She enjoys playing it, which is crazy because it's totally, I wouldn't even think it would be up her alley, but you know, we found like a, we rescued a wolf uh, puppy and the family adopts it, but it's sick. So one of the side quests is like finding mushrooms in the caverns that you're going through. And uh, the boss fights are really fun uh, and interesting. Um, and the story itself, I think is, is really engaging. And the fact that uh, when you, when you die, um, let me type out the name. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, called finding lotion. Finding lotion. Uh, that's, uh, anyway, that's yeah, Dave's, it, that's Dave's game. Upcoming, uh, <laughs> yeah. Finding Nemo. Finding lotion. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's really, really good. If, if, if you're looking, you know, cause like right now, like no super big games have come out honestly that i wanted to spend money on like i'm looking forward to like i mean march is going to be ridiculous my wallet is going to burst into flames i think in march but um animal crossing um, last of us two and no that comes later that's like no, no dude. i think that's march no march Pretty march has like five or six yeah releases. i think march is last of us two uh, uh Cyberpunk. march march is also neo, neo neo two is in march seven times in april last of us one Damn. Doom Eternal is also in March, I think. Fuck the mm -hmm. dad in that game. Holy shit, fuck that guy. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm honestly more excited for the Doom Eternal soundtrack in the game, honestly. But yeah, Children uh, of Zelda. Uh, if you haven't played it, it's, it's really, really fucking fan, fantastic. Oh wow, it's a nine out of ten on Steam. Yeah, it's game, really good. The gameplay kind of reminded me of like, kind of reminded me of like uh, Nuclear Throne. Enter the Gungeon, kind of like yeah. It, but it's a story. story. Uh, well, one of one of the family members, uh, one of the daughters, is a archer, and when you play her, you can play it like a twin stick shooter. You don't have to though. Like I'm <laughs> terrible at twin stick shooters, but so you can play her normally, or you can just use the thumbsticks to play as her, which is fucking cool. But the the cool thing about her is that if she has like a stamina bar. And it depletes if you shoot and move at the same time. Oh. But if you stand still, it doesn't deplete your stamina. So, like it, it just there's so many different layers um, to the gameplay in it, and the way that the upgrades work and how it affects all the characters. It's it's awesome. Like you, it's it's totally worth it, even at full price. It's super good. I've been playing it for hours and I've only cleared one, two, three, like five. I'm about to clear the sixth level. 
So, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard for me, but, um, it never is so like, I've never played it where I'm like, this is fucking frustrating. I'm never going to play it again. Like I want to keep playing it. So yeah. it's awesome. What's the, uh, what's the word on the book update? Yeah. Um, so a little over, uh, 5, think, words. Said. well, that's what I just sent to you. Um, I've written much more than that. I just sent to you what I'm willing to show someone. I won't think even shame. that. Okay. Even that, I'm not too excited about sending that out. But um, I am around, I think, thirteen thousand ish. Um, nice. That's not bad. Which is good. Um, uh, but yeah, it's it's like I said, I, I definitely didn't get enough done over the holidays but i mean yeah, it's uh, holidays i mean fuck it you're yeah right. i mean mm. i i kind of saw it coming but uh, i'm liking what i'm doing and uh I, i'm liking the way it's turning out so far i mean and i, I just sent atomic a little bit to read um yeah with, bad caveat, about like, with the caveat oh. that it has not been edited it is not in any particular order it's yeah. just it's just shit. That don't don't feel bad about not getting shit done. Like I had super high hopes of like finishing this Super Nintendo sounds album that I've been working on for over a year. I didn't even open it. Yeah, yeah. But you know that's that's uh, that's what happens on the holidays. So I'm gonna get I gotta get back into the groove. Uh, hit my goal of a thousand words a day again, and uh, hopefully in a few months uh, I'll have something that I can start to put in the order that I want it to be in to complete a first draft and then set it aside for a little while, go back to it, edit it, add to it, take away from it, all that kind of stuff. So we'll see. Cool, cool. That's all I got. Emily, what do you have? Uh, well, uh, December was really, really good. We sold 200,000 copies of our games on Switch in december alone which was mighty nice we hit uh the fifth spot and the eighth spot with two different games in the top sellers list for december which is good um i think we were like literally under a big game i forget which game it was now but yeah it was really good um making porn games still um pretty close to starting to release content for that now finally got all the voice actors actresses lined up for that there's like i'm working with six different actresses for the two games at the moment um there's a lot of work that goes into this sort of stuff and it's kind of crazy but yeah you know we're, i'm doing all right uh what else was i oh yeah i started uh started a book series um i'm gonna get this wrong because it's uh the tremere series yeah uh his majesty's dragon series it's like nine books long yeah it's like basically if uh you know like this like around the civil war area where like they had like you know Brit britain's army was like in in the top lead uh you know powerhouse superpower thing imagine if there was also dragons around at the same time so it's like naval warfare but like also dragons mm -hmm. and they they put like the they put like harnesses on the dragons and then people like climb over the dragons and they have like gunners on the dragons and shit it's kind of cool it's a it's a neat little like idea theory thing i don't know i thought it was kind of cool so um oh you didn't you didn't know i was doing porn yeah i have a i have a company it's called kinky fridays i just started it it's um we got fundings <laughs> for four games um Every and time you say that name like kinky Island fridays <laughs> yeah you can follow us on twitter at at kinky fridays it's it's brand everything there is brand new and stuff so um the website is still under construction i believe it is doing. yeah mm -hmm. but the design's already done i just need someone to slap all that shit together um but honestly there's like um 
there was like a, a re re reaffirmation about like how how right my decision was to go into this industry because today I posted a single tweet from a non-existent Twitter. Like it had no followers whatsoever, basically. Um, and I posted an image of one of basically a done still image, but I like cut it. So it's just her mouth and like a necklace and people are so fucking thirsty. They're just like, yup, let's follow this account. And it's, it's insane. Like, uh, I don't think we're going to have any, any fucking financial problems for this. company. I don't think it will. Either, <laughs> no, I don't think sells. so. I mean, that's always been true and always will be true. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, there's like a whole, like to, to put in perspective here. So I don't know if you guys know how steam works, but in terms of being able to sell a game on steam, you can't send traffic to steam anymore. Like their, their algorithm so fucked that you can't do that anymore. So if you like make an advert on Facebook, that says, Hey, go wishlist our game on steam. And then someone follows it and wishlist it. Steam will just treat that traffic like it doesn't exist. But if you have a, if you have someone from within steam using the steam services, find your game and then wishlist it. They're just like, fuck yeah, this is the traffic that we believe. This is the traffic that we know is legit. So right now the entire system for working in steam is literally tricking steam users to go from one thing to another and then follow those games or buy those games. That's pretty much it. So the idea originally was what if other games could send traffic to you? And people used to do that by like changing their tags on their games to make it similar to say Witcher or something like that. So when down the bottom, your game would appear in like, this is a game that's similar to section, right? That was one of the stories, but that doesn't work anymore. So now what you have to do is in order for your games to do well, you have to have games that do well. But, and the way that you do that is by having free products uh, and all that sort of stuff, or you release in the adult only section. One of the features that I know most of you people don't know about with steam is that there is a tag that you can select in your user preferences that enables adult only content. Like right now, if you were to search for a couple of games, which I won't say what they are, but if you were to search for an adult game on steam, you wouldn't see it. Like it just, it just won't show up unless you have that tag turned on. Yep, so I'll you could it. like, you could know the exact title of the game, put it into the search bar, hit enter and nothing will show up unless that tag is on. But what does that mean? It means that anyone who does turn that tag on is looking to buy adult games. So if there's 15 million people using steam right now, and only 1% of that 15 million enables the adult only tag, that 1% is an actively engaged audience that will actually purchase the products. Yes. That is why I made the fucking company and made porn games. Here's what concerns it's... me. Chat says that no. I didn't, didn't expect this. Not in the way that you're thinking, chat. Um, I obviously don't know anything about that, what you're talking about, a secret adult-only tag. But Steam and the VR game section keeps saying that I should buy VR Kenojo, and I was like, eh, you just hang out with some Japanese high school girl. That's not my deal, right? Yeah, I guess if that's what you're for. And then someone was like, oh, yeah, VR Kenojo. I heard about that game, Arthur. That's where you got blowjobs and have sex with a girl. And I was like, what? That's not on the Steam page, is it? What the fuck? So my question is, do I have this enabled somehow? Am I in the secret I mean adult tag section? <laughs> you might be you might be if um if your account is old enough for example like oh, if you have old. a super Ancient. old account and you and go. you set your you set your mature rating tags like a long time ago the adult only section is about a year old so previously there were adult games on steam but they used to do this thing where they would make a game and then they'd be like oh yeah if you want the uncensored patch here's a mod that we made <laughs> for the, the uncensored patch <laughs> yeah there's a bunch of visual novels that have that shit on Steam. it takes away all the lens flares that cover everything from china you know <laughs> that's what we used to have that's what games used to have to do they have to placate to china basically yeah. so then whenever you see a game with a chinese tag in the title that's probably a porn game 100 
Um, but yeah, no, that's, that's, that's literally my life these days, guys. It's just, I go to work, I have to work an extra four hours a day, uh, just to fit in enough time to run all these companies and shit. And I mean, it's, it's good work. I like it a lot. Um, and there's Must a good be chance tough that making we can... porn games, Dave. It's, it is a little because there's a lot that I have to uh, learn about how to do things like, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. I, let me just tell you, I learned about a, um, a tag, a, a game type today called G O R. I won't say what it stands for. Cause it's, you know, G O R. And, uh, it's, it's really interesting game tag outside of the fact that it's generally populated by people who don't know how to make games uh and that that want to make adult games and generally when people think of adult games they think of gor games so uh i I will put it in the zoom chat so everyone knows what i'm talking about um and if your game fits into that that's generally because you don't know how to make a good game and that's basically what all the all the porn games are um these days so, so is your extra like all your extra work? I mean, once you get everything, once everything is kind of on a roll, is that workload gonna taper off a little bit? I mean, like once you get the infrastructure in place, or is it always just gonna? Well, our, our games that we're making, we make them for low budget, but we make them at a high quality, and we do it within two to three months. Taking so, so much we, to not make an endurance joke here. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> So most, most games, uh, get made for Patreon and the, the, the intent of that game is to stay in Patreon as long as physically possible, because that's where they make their money. My game, my games is to spend as least amount of time in production as possible, but still keep the quality as high as we can. That includes like animations and voices, basically like that. That's pretty much where the, where that line is. Um, and make it and try and put it into sales market as quickly as possible. So the answer is no, it won't, it won't ease up because when we finish one game, we start production on another and another and another and another and blah, 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 blah. Just keep doing it. So yeah. Dave, anyway, I've taken up enough time. time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Eventually I want to get to the point where I can just like not make games anymore in this company and just like take in all the profits and stuff. So <laughs> Yeah, that would be everyone's goal in life to get to the point where they could just rake in profits without doing anything. Well, to put it in perspective, we're spending about 15,000 USD per game and we can make that back in like uh, three weeks of sales. So anything above that, it will generally be like profit. So. All right, are we ready to get started? Let's fucking kill some library yeah. demons. That's been one of our longest intros. Uh, I'm sorry, like, everyone. It's all right. It's, it's been, been a while, like a whole month. Yeah. The show's taken forever to come back. Previously on this show, the team went down to the next lowest level. There were slight problems they encountered. As soon as they entered, they were immediately ambushed over and over again. The party split up into two with Daka going and looking at a door. Everyone else chased some goblins into a hole. Shit got real as fuck. Then they decided to rest in a library. Turns out library is full of undead. Things did not go well. <laughs> we are in the middle of the fight in the library. More on things have showed up. And if I recall, you guys are like 10 XP away from leveling up. Um, yeah, we are at yeah, 22,264 yeah, of 23. Like 750 yeah. away. 10 XP from leveling up. I've deployed tactical cat for many views. Uh, and we we fucked off. Totally, we did the most unexpected thing ever as gamers. We looked up. Yeah. We looked up. Uh, <laughs> friends, Daka Zilvia, you are currently on top of a bookcase, and it Damn. is your turn. Um, let me just get reacquainted because I don't know if I have spells left or no, I don't. Well, Kel- Kelly has his. Protection good and evil active. Family is 40 HP in bear form, and I'm angry. Oh, yeah, because uh, we wrote it all on the side, didn't we? Yeah, yeah we did. 
because I knew it was going to be like and three which, weeks. Which, uh, I knocked over a bunch of bookshelves too, didn't I? It's the ones oh, yeah, that are double stacks. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Oh, and then there yeah. are chandeliers above that location. Right. And Zaka looked at a door. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. I was like, a door? Oh, the wall thing. Uh, um... Uh, I'm gonna shoot some Eldritch Blasts at this boy. Yeah, okay. Tell me more. We're right into it, huh? 23 yeah. for 8. Yes. And 18 for 7. Also, yes. Sweet. It takes two blasts of rock missiles. <clears throat> As it's coming out of the ground, popping out, the uh, thriller style. That does not seem to deter it, however. Did you just do a dance? I'm just, I'm just doing the thriller dance on okay. top of the bookshelf. Okay. Um, You're like Fortnite all... dancing after try, trying to get the kill. I think that's the dog all I can floss? do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a I got a new animation from the the year the new year update. Oh, that I'm sorry, that reminds me. Uh, everybody has inspiration. And because this is a D&D stream and it's the year 2020, I wish to offer you all for any time throughout the entire year, one time you can take advantage on any D20 roll. Because what's better than one D20 is two D20, like a 2020. Wait, we all get advantage on something? Wait, What'd you, you have inspiration, it's which inspiration. you can use to take advantage before a roll. And I'm also just giving you a blanket New Year's gift. One well, roll. Like Change any time. What? You can change any roll to a twenty once. No, you. But you can. You can give yourself a second inspiration anytime, any place. Uh, okay. Oh, all right. The whole year. Why roll one twenty when you can roll two twenties in twenty twenty? I'm um, using that shit tonight. <laughs> that, well, that brings another meaning to the rolling twenties, huh? Wow, it's roaring twenties, but okay. I'm just that waiting was for the joke. The, I just, <sighs> just every as soon as it's October twenty, people are like, "Oh, roaring I'm like, "I have." An urge to listen to Electro Swing right now. Uh, Caravan Palace. Yeah, mm, right. Caravan Palace, or you could listen to the Electro Swing version of Aladdin Songs by Sim Gratina. <laughs> I would listen to that. Can you send me them? Uh, yeah. At at the mid break, I will send it to you. Hell yeah. I'm just, I'm just reading something to see if I can make three magic stones that deal one d six plus my caster level. I'm just seeing. If I can make those for myself and use them as a bonus action. You what's the I... spell? Is it just magic stone? Uh it's magic stone. It'll tell you. I mean it'll what does it say? It's... Uh it uh, it looks like it's an action. Uh it says cast time bonus action. The cast time is a bonus action, but that's to make them. I don't know what it is to like actually throw oh, them. It's to actually use them. Yes, it's okay. attacks. Yeah, okay. range spell attack. You so use I can't, them as a fling. So I can't use that as a bonus action at all. Well, I mean, you have to use a bonus action and then an attack to do. Yeah. All. yeah. Oh just, no! I'm, you when you make the stones, you can hold on to them for however long you want to. Yeah, I was just seeing if there's a way to do like two Eldritch Blast and a bonus action cast a stone, but yes. I don't think so. You can you can make the stones and then throw them at a later date. Yeah, but I can't use. You can't. Like, two no, Eldritch you can't. Blast. You can't also throw the stone as well. Yeah. I was just no. seeing. Oh. If, I was just seeing if like throwing that would be an extra bonus attack that I never used no. before. Okay. It does. It says. It, I guess someone else can also use them because it's someone else's attack. Yes, yeah, you can hand them. Yeah, they're I like good, hand them. They're, they're one for, minute long, good berries of pain. They're for <laughs> magic damage. So. Daka, give me the rock and break out the tape. Yeah, it's it's like if we were facing that phantasm again and like we, none of us could do magic damage, I can make these and give you guys magic damage. <laughs> Just tape the tape the pebble to the hammer. <laughs> All three. Throw of them. the hammer. Like put it on the no. face, right? Nope. So the, the yeah. pebble's still what's hitting them. It's just you know, being Agram, it's them. your turn. It is indeed. I'm gonna. I want to jump off the top of this thing and yeah. attack Eight feet. this. So it's not enough to trigger. Skeleton. I would like you to make an acrobatic check though to land and look oh, doing it. Acrobatics or athletics? So, I'll take either. Is uh, which one was it? Was it the skeletons or the the gnolls that had um, the, the the zombie power where they don't die? I forget which one. Uh, was. The skellies, I think. Skeletons. The yeah. zombie power where they don't die is the zombies, and yeah? it's the kobold okay. looking ones. Okay. They're not kobolds. Kobold they're ones. they're goblin zombies, but oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 25. 25. All right, you can add a d6 
damage to this attack. Nice. All right. So I'm going to jump. Gonna, where are you jumping down to? I'm going to jump down. I'm going to just jump down right here. Okay. And which and one I'm are you attacking? A, I'm attacking the skeleton. Very well. And I am still raging, according to our notes. So Sounds uh, good to me. Indeed. As you said, extra d6. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Let me yep. Uh, roll that up there. Yep. So yep. Let's yep. See. That checks out. I, oh, I thought I can attack again. I forgot. Got so him. I hit him again. And he's dead. Oh, well, okay. Well, if he's already dead, then I'm going to hit the kobold looking dude. All right. So you land smashing the skeleton into the ground. Bones go flying everywhere. Then you rise up, whipping your hammer around, catching this uh, zombie on the side of the face. Like, like jump off, you know, I'm like overhand, smash that one, and then see the other one, and then side smash into him. Yeah, it's like some uh, Smash Brothers, Mario stuff when you got that hammer thing. All right. That cool. really awful hammer that everyone hates. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. All right, that's my turn. Finley, if I recall, you have a giant butt because you're a bear and you have a bear butt. I'm a bear butt. Um. We got him to say it. Someone can clip that. He just admitted to being a bear butt. <laughs> Uh, oh, I would just like to say that I have commissioned some uh, uh, Agram writing Finley in the combat art uh, from our, our favorite uh, Swissman. So he did ask me what a uh, uh, what I looked like as a bear. So, so that, that'll, be, that, that'll be coming at some point. Uh, I, I, yeah. ho I hope I it's just I woke, I woke up Dave is going to end up making that into a game at this point. Did, did, I, did you I woke, did you I tell the other, I woke up the other morning. Uh, uh, to find that he has slipped into my DMs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> did you uh, did you tell him you have like your full length mane as a bear? Oh yeah, and I and I told him that my cock is totally shaved. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, I I provided no lewd details. Wow! Welcome okay, to I, the welcome to the forty fourth episode I just, of the show. I, I guess that's right. I I uh, but it's gonna be like a you know drive me closer when I hit him with my sword, but with uh, instead of a tank and a dude on top, it's me writing a. Uh, it's gonna combat. be a really erotic version of driving Miss Daisy. I think is, is it that I'm just at. driving Miss Daisy? Period. Yes. Okay. Um. So remind me, AP. Uh, do I have problems squeezing through yes you do it takes you double movement for every time you move through with your body and you have to take at least two steps through so it's 20 feet <laughs> even while shaved <laughs> even while shaved all right well i can't oh well but he's not he's not greased out he's I not greased up so i can't occupy the same space God. As either correct either. you cannot yeah. occupy the same space as Adrian. i mean you could oh, shove shit. me out of the way and i wouldn't resist wow <laughs> oh my god wow all right i'm going to um double time it uh, and go here. Okay. Do Double you have time more on movement Agram, huh? speed as a bear? Probably. I have movement speed of 40. Yeah, so he does. And I just moved 60. Uh, you say Agram's a bottom. I feel like Agram might be a power bottom. I mean, power bottom generate. I mean, he has, he has he has 20 strength. I mean, he's definitely doing all the lifting. That's, that's not exactly what that means, but okay. Power bottom generates yeah, all the power. He's the anchor, you know what I mean? <laughs> Finley, tell me about hitting this the, uh, the zombie. I don't think I hey. can because I had to run to get here. Oh, did you? Oh, very yeah. well. That's so sad. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I highly Tism, recommend what a Schrodem. You're right. You can make it. Is this yeah, it's good to be back. <laughs> Damn. Uh. No, Agram thinks he's a top, but then he gets faced with a bear. He's a bottom. <laughs> Everyone's a bottom when we're with a bear. It's true. Rawr. Okay. Listen. <laughs> you don't need to do Zonlar's job for him or write to his kinks. <laughs> He'll do that himself. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, he will. We got to give him ammunition for the comic book, though, you know? Mm, no. So if you'll recall, Kelly, this skeleton is holding the curtain back. That's why this this friend over here is going to bring you to the friendship zone. Sure. Uh, Take me to the friendship zone. I, you know, thank you for inviting it. Uh, I'm going to start with friendship ideas and Kelly. 
If I recall, your AC is like 22 or something really ridiculous right now. Yeah. All right, Finley, you're up next. Also, um, you have to roll a disadvantage for everything, too. Oh, well, I'm not even going to get I mean, I need to hit 20 twice to hit you. <laughs> yeah. Or 19 or 20 twice. Uh, No hits on Finley and one attack versus Agrim. Uh, that sweating snowman nope. emote is the best. Man. That's, in this situation, that sweating snowman in. Emote. You get advantage for attacking really because I get reckless attack. Oh wow! I mean, that's really going to push me into some pretty potentially. Oh, actually, you know, I was being very sarcastic, but then it came true. So I feel a little bad. All right, one d six plus one damage, which will probably be halved. Oh, it will be. Gonna max that damage. No, four, four Two. damage you receive, Kelly. What's half of four? Well, Seven. it depends on who you ask. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, what this guy, numeric holding... system are we using? Metric. <laughs> it's not a numeric <laughs> system. <laughs> We're using a metric Arabic. Numbers. Arabic, thank Is, you. You said this guy was holding the, the towel? Yes, or it's, the, the... Yeah, it's not a towel. <laughs> it's a theater curtain. Uh, the loincloth? <laughs> Uh, no. So if I hit him, is he gonna drop it? Yes. Can I see him? Yeah. If okay. you kill him, he will drop it. I mean, what's the? I will do that. Very well. Because because like, this guy over here, it will be oh, blocked from attacking okay. me. Yeah, so. okay. I got you. I got you. Uh, so I will do that first, Arthur. Mm -hmm. I will hit Scaly Boy. Of course. Uh, Fourteen, yes. good enough. Yep. Catch oh, okay. Explodes. Great. Nice. Rendering this boy. Uh, unseen, yes? Correct. Okay, then I'll attack the one in front with my mm -hmm. second mm -hmm. attack. Uh, 11? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't think I... Okay, I have one of each level spell left. I don't think I'm going to waste it on this. That, that that seems silly. Uh, but i tell you what I will do, Arthur. What um, will we do? I will enter Tunnel Fighter Fair as a well. bonus action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is something. An action that is available to you. Yeah. Skeletons. Bringing all the boys to the yard. Damn. Indeed. I think that's a pretty good move, Finley, by the looks of things. I'm doing my best. Well, no. Uh, so... Two skeletons attack Finley. Though if you were to take a step back, you would have less attacks coming towards you. What's your AC right now? Six, it's 11 uh, or something. Or, 12. Yeah. Okay. okay. You take six points of damage as the first uh, skeleton walks yeah. up to you and just kadooshes you. Uh, Agram, you're offering advantage like any good host, like any good guest when they visit the library, uh, to which you receive. Uh, uh, what do they call those gifts that you give away when you arrive? What are those called? Oh, um... Uh, door... Door crashers? Door something? Yeah, I know shit. Finley, you're my... You're my girlfriend. You watch Sex in the City. Help me out here. Uh, you have to know this wait, shit. What happened? When you... When you go to a store and they offer you something at the door, right? It's called, like, door bashers, door... Door crashers, door knockers. Oh, uh, uh, door buster. Door buster! There you go. You get a yeah. door buster of one point of damage, eh, Krim? I have never heard that before. You never heard yeah, of door yeah, yeah, door buster specials. Yeah, yeah that's, it's... they're pretty big on like Thanksgiving and such. The only thing that I've thought that I've seen is like when you're a kid and you leave another kid's birthday party and they give you like that gift bag. Yeah, my my hobby store does shit like that. They give you free models. It's great. I love it. It's the best door buster. <laughs> I, was, I thought you were gonna say free magic cards that people leave. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> they just like they just like take like a like a pack. It's like oh, there's ten dudes in this. Oh, here's a free one. So I've got like. Warhammer fantasy shit that I don't even I'm like, oh whatever, free stuff, I'll take it. Daka. I'm gonna run over here. 
Yeah, give give Spirity a hand, I think. Yeah. And I'm eight feet up, right? Right. So shooting you. so shooting down would not incur a penalty? It will. But, You're in melee combat with this fellow. Then I would Can they hit back. him up there though? Yes. I mean Yeah. I would I would knowing that I would move back because I'm Okay. I'm doing range attacks, so I'm sure. like Yep. Makes sense. I thought being I thought being eight feet eight feet up would be like Nah, they can reach room. up there and they can be like, ah, your feet, yeah. Just nibble your toes. You're fighting Skeletor, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. Will we get you next Skeletor? Time, and I'm gonna throw a big old, big old geode of acid on this boy. Oh, tell me more about this geode of acid. I mean, Oof. Just, you're gonna you're gonna melt them bones. Describe to me the texture Sorry. of this geode. I mean, what are we talking like amethyst ruby? I mean, given that it's acidic, the typical color would be green. So I'm thinking maybe like a... Yeah, like a like a jade thing. Oh, jade. I was going to go with emerald, but yeah, no. I'm seeing it. Comes up and then like cracks open and... Like an spells. acid hand grenade. Uh, that is a con save of... 14. 14. Does he have bonus? Plus two, so that's 13. No, nope, takes a 10 damage. Uh, it can't speak, but you can see it physically clutching, like, uh, the, I'm melting, as it tries to brush the goop off of it. It does a 30-second Skeletor voice. The jaw just clacks. Nah, the, uh, the, the zombie next to him turns around and says, get that boy some milk. <laughs> you got anything else, Sokka? Um, nope, that's the only answer. <laughs> hey, Grim. All right, we're gonna reckless attack again. Reckless oh, attack? Oh yeah, surprise! It's crazy. Again, I actually am shocked to hear you were gonna reckless attack. So I'm going to hit the. It's the uh, new poison uh, spray. <laughs> it's the new Eldritch Blast. I mean, your new it's... poison spray is turning into a bear. So. Well, right, so it's first been working for you. Someone's got a poison spray, okay? <laughs> Twenty-four for sixteen. <laughs> Sorry, which one are you hitting? I'm hitting the kobold or whatever. Okay. Whenever one I've already hit. Yes, yes, yes. And then uh, if he's still up. Um, he is not. He's dead. Okay, I'm gonna second attack on the skeleton. That's there 21. He has ceased to be. Uh, there's just there's just bits. You just see bits flying up in the air from the other side of the bookshelf. <laughs> Hager just just massacres <laughs> his way. The skeleton, uh, you fracture several of its bones with. I listen. <laughs> It's a little too ridiculous for Igor to actually do it, but I assume that you stick it underneath the rib cage and then twirl the hammer, and then we just, from like behind Agram's angle, we see bones like a blender with the open top. Skeleton smoke. The Don't skeleton stumbles back. This. It's yeah. still intact, but it's looking Put quite bad. Put your face mask on, everybody. Well, you know, the hammer gets stuck in the rib cage for a second. It's <laughs> it makes that horrible, like something stuck in the food processor or blender noise just like <laughs> oh, like oh shit i gotta unplug it you smell you that, that in there and you, you just you, like you, you, you smell that like burnt you know that like electric motor burnt smell yeah okay uh, i just bought this blender bear butt what do you want to do uh i'm gonna take a swipe at the skelly boy right there yeah 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 yeah, that successfully 17. hits. And By the way, if anybody needs uh, help, just make sure you call out because I mean, uh, get some ability. Again. So that was claws. So that is two d six plus five. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Seen. That totally crushes him. And then I'm gonna bitey bite this guy. Yeah. 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 Sixteen. Yep. And my bite a seven is, is working. One eight plus five. Remember, Spirity, you can burn a spell to heal yourself too. Yes. Um, yeah. You've got like so that's twelve damage. Yep. 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 Got it. Uh, and what is my total HP? You had forty to start with. I know. But what's with. My uh, I have forty T's. My total. I'm not gonna heal yet. I'm good. But you got hurt, right? Last time? Well, I mean, I'm at 34. Your uh, token says that you're at 10 of 39 right now. 
No, no, he's, no, no, no he, he, he wasn't right. counting on the token. That's his normal HP. Uh, my normal see. HP is a 10, so when I... Can you just add another bar on, on the token, maybe? Yes, I thought well, I did last time, but... I No, I'm using the one to the right, the 34. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, uh, we're doing it. You're 42? No, I'm at 30. Yeah, 42 is the max. Yep, oh, yeah, yep, there it is. Yes. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, oh cool. cool. Thanks for that nice. resub, Atomic Spoon. Did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe with Twitch Prime? Uh, toss a Did coin you know to your GM. Oh, audience of plenty. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna show these kobolds whether a bear shits in the woods or not. <laughs> uh, you know, before you say that, that so stupid. I want to point out that I had a show called Okeanos, and during it, a group of centaurs uh, to show their rage turned around and rage pooped towards the party and one of the party members dropped his trousers and reached it as well no couldn't get rid of rage poop in their lexicon for over a year rage pooping is a thing it's real i've lived through but it but how is these cotton nuts why are you why do i have uh shadowy glasses right now what the hell is sg sunglasses it's oh, sunglasses no well, I do wear sunglasses. That, that much is true. My vision is my vision is augmented. <laughs> wow. Oh god, I remember that. Wow. Dave is Dave almost like just he's passed out from laughing. Uh Kelly uh, taking three zombs at one time. Uh disadvantage for each of those boys. Yeah. Woohoo. No. Woohoo. I mean, that spell is fucking working out. Oh, by the way, uh, if this dude walked in, he would have been attacked by me because of my tunnel fighter. None of them walked through your range. They just walked up to it. Well, the, okay, so which tunnel fighter did they go from? That one. They, yeah. If this he one was came here from down and, here. Yeah. And this guy came from. Oh, uh, shit. This. The other guy came from over here. Neither of them walked okay. through your threatened range. They okay, just, that's cool. That's fine. They charged directly towards you in the shortest way possible. Uh, wasn't this difficult terrain, these uh, shells? Uh, yes. Okay, that's cool. Um, 15 is going to hit your boy Sputnik. For three. Zombie number How two. The how high are the push down shelves like when they're laying down like, like that? two feet uh okay. 11 mm -hmm. does not hit you correct <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, nice Kelly. uh sorry i'm having fun oh. with, you, with your face great awesome that's exactly what i want to hear i'm having fun uh, with okay. your face uh which guy did I attack before? The one in front? I guess I'll yeah, bring the hammer one. down. And... I think it was one of your 12 o'clock. Yeah, so I'll do that guy first. Woohoo! Uh, yeah. I think I... if I hit a 20 on this, I can survive. Wow. <sighs> but no. Indeed, I am... I am missed it by that much. <clears throat> Got him. Uh, so for my second attack, Arthur... I will wheel and deal this dude right behind me down here. I see. Yeah. Library. Killing me. Yeah. Hey, yep. that's pretty good. Yep. <laughs> Look, I know they have a policy about not forgetting your library card. It seems a little bit much. No, it's like quiet in the library. <laughs> Fuck you. Got anything else going on? Uh, or is it a bonus action to do the sentinel the thing to yes, attack to tunnel fighter no not to tunnel fighter to do the burner spell for your witcher no, Bottom no? okay uh hmm am i a ghost now drummer boy why am i so pale you're seeing a mad world it is a mad world but for different reasons all right yeah i'm okay i'm gonna save it okay I'm going to say, and then I'll tunnel fighter, obviously. So. Uh, 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 uh. 
I can only move. You gotta need more of them AOEs there, uh, drummer boy. <laughs> I do. Do you want me to come over and throw some? Uh, I mean, I think I got, I think I got them all grouped up pretty good over here. Yeah. If you want like to drop you're, some, you got, them, you got them choked up pretty good. Like, well, no, I mean, it sounds like they can move anywhere. And the last thing I want to do is have Finley get attacked from every angle. So that would be rough. So you're just getting attacked from every angle. I mean, well, I got disadvantage on every something, attack, something, though. Dave, so yeah, surrounded by dudes, something, something. Uh, Akram, you take three points of damage. Sure. I mean, uh, you might have a lot of health, but... Like in a bathhouse, children. I've got a lot of armor, so... Fuck. Wait, what did yeah. you to hit me? What? He rolled 19 to hit you. I have an AC of 20. Oh, well, then never mind. Uh, two damage <laughs> to Finley. Wow, Bobby's got a 20 AC? Mm. Dope, I'm, dude. I'm, I have a shield. I'm using a one-handed weapon. That's right, yeah. Uh, I'm using a, I'm using a one-handed mace. 17 to hit Kelly, which isn't good enough. At the beginning of the round, in each of the uh, large aisleways, right here, right here, and then on both sides of Kelly, right here and right here, something begins burrowing out of the ground. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Daka, each... perform a ritual to close whatever portals are open. We're talking blue cracks opening in the ground some sort of dark gas coming out of it you can hear a kind of shoveling noise but from the other direction as if a shovel is being used towards the ceiling and pulling dirt down deeper into the earth it's some freaky I'm, shit i'm take a guess they're not dwarven reinforcements <laughs> uh can i is there a chance i can do some sort of history check or something like that on your turn maybe? such a thing might be possible oh yeah oh can you course. mark where these cracks are forming like i can and there. shall there I can shoot down. there like this but it's further down okay is that the affected area as well yes You guys can see these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't mess this shit up. Okay, Daka. Well, the most efficient place to AOE for me is like right here. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Right. How big's the blast or what? Like, what are you casting? How do you do the blade storm? Fucking. The, the, move with move with uh, measurement. Q, thing? Q. Like hit Q, grab your token. No, no, no grab, grab, token, grab, grab your token, hit Q. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because that's as far as I can go. And can I see this from there? Yep. Because these are knocked those, down. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you're, you got down. a good view. The only one you can't see is this cobalt on the. The circles were the, the, the chandeliers side. on the ceiling, right? right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're booty clapping. Uh, what's the what's the target of your thunder clap? In middle here. Okay. Uh, so those four make a con check or take eight damage or nothing. Uh, yes, no. Uh. 13 does not beat, so 8 and then 8. Yeah, your thunderclap rolls over them. One skeleton manages to get its arms up in front of it and create like a dark shield of necrotic energy, but the others are just like, Whoa! Then at the end of that, I'm like, <laughs> if, if I see you, well, we see, we all like hear and feel the rumble. So I was like, Everyone on the bookcases, we're going up. <laughs> mm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get away. Yeah. Agram. All right. Um. Smash his skelly bros down here. Reckless attack. Why not? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna get him to fuck off. Uh. 
19 for 20. Yes, he's dead. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Um, I'm going to try and get Climus bookcase to my north. Please, um, if you could, make a uh, athletics check for me. I can do this. 26, yeah. do you? Yeah, you uh, scramble on top like uh, like some sort of night monkey. Yep, and then I'm going to... Uh, if you so, can at least maybe yeah, get rid of this guy here, because I've I'm already hit him to... once, so yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to make sure to throw the right one. Uh, I imagine you climb it by pulling yourself up and then doing that short hop with your legs and up and legs, and when you get to the top, your head's just peeking over. <laughs> you just flick the, the hammer. He's at using it. his chin to stay up there while he throws <laughs> the hammer. Just just one handed. Just fuck you. <laughs> The hammer comes back to him, but he's already standing at the top already. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm going to throw it at that guy. 29, yeah. 22. Uh, get like I, the classic shot of like fingers on the edge, and then the other hand is just a hammer getting chucked. I love that the hammer does more damage when I throw it yeah. than when I actually swing with it. All right. That's yeah. my turn. Uh, Finley. Air uh, um, yeah, I'll go after this same guy. Okay. I have a question. If he goes back into normal form, can he choose where in the four spaces yes. he appears? Okay. Yeah. 11? Yes. Oh. Um, that'll be a clawy claw. For 17. Oh, 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 oh. Fucking Jesus Christ. Nice. <laughs> uh, it survives. What? What? You got a 20. So uh, one hit point. point. Fucking kidding me. Um, you, all right, listen, well, you claw this thing, you remove so much viscera and spray it over the zombie next to it. This thing looks down and then looks back up and its eyes begin to burn red with dark arcane power. As it just holds its guts in and then goes, yeah, and I, Meanwhile, I in the anime version, the bear roars, but the subtitles say, bye, Felicia. Yeah. And it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look at him and growl again and take a swing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I bite his booty for another mm -hmm. ten. Yeah. You've seen uh, you've seen Maniac, right? It's boot. He's dead. Uh, um, and then hey, my bonus see... action, I'm gonna heal. Uh, and w what do I do for the heal again? Remind me. You can burn a spell slot, I believe. Right. So one of your oh, spells. It's like. 1d8 for e for depending on which level of spell you get rid of, I believe. Right. Isn't it, so isn't it essentially a, pure, pure a level one. one. Uh, let me check though, real quick. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's what it is. So. Man, Spooty, it's like that drug dealer scene from uh, from Maniac, where the guy gets shotgunned in half. Oh my god. Uh, what are we looking at to roll for healing here? Someone's looking at uh, it. So yeah, while you use a bonus action to spend one spell slot to regain 1d8 hit points per level of spell slot. Yeah, so, so. I'm doing level one. Okay. Yeah. So six. All right. Nice. 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 Your um, Sentinel of Tunnel Fighter yep. will kick in. Roger, roger. No dice, probably. Uh, it hits and it kills. Woohoo! I need to hit a. Oh, yeah, because you're hitting with advantage, right? I need to hit a 20. No, I don't. That'll hit. Oh. Uh, What's it plus? Is it plus three or something? So yeah, it's plus four, plus three. Uh, that should be five points of damage. I need you to make a DC ten Constitution save to maintain your. Yeah, you're good. Okay, now attacking uh, Butley Butt Bottom. Mm. Those will both hit. My butt will take the blow. Well, four points of damage. So I holy told you. I'll <laughs> heal it. Kelly. Turn the uh, other okay. cheek, Finley. Turn you the can't, other cheek. You, you can't break this butt, girlfriend. 
So this guy can't see me, yeah? Correct. And as far as you know, it hasn't done anything more than paw at the sheet. The zombie, it doesn't concerned. functionally know how to You're attack John through a Cena. sheet. Bounce uh, <laughs> it's one hell of a fire curtain. Bounce a coin off your bare bottom. That's right. Bounce a coin witcher. off your bottom. Bounce one of your fucking pebbles off of it. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna attack the skeleton. Yeah. Uh, so I can free up some movement. That'll do it, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. now can I move, attack, and move, or yes. not really? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna go here. What is this difficult train over these things? Yes. You're gonna so take be... AOE from this guy. No, I'm gonna stand right here. Oh, okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna attack him. All right. Um. So you're, are you trying to? What are you trying to do? I mean, you're just trying to close ranks with Finley. Or you're trying to get up on the bookcases of the rest of us or the other two. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go over to help Finley for the time being until we okay. can both get up on the bookcases. So. Okay. Well, I just so I can find out what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Can a bear climb bookcases? Uh, bears can climb fucking trees. I assume so. Yes, but your acrobatic score is the same as a bear's acrobatic score, which is like zero. <laughs> well, which is. To be fair, though, you let me use athletics. I mean, yes, but the bear does not have the athletic skill. Uh, the bear's, okay, so... the bear's backstory, which we know nothing about, revolved around the circus. Look, I'm fair, sure its strength we... score is quite good, but do you <laughs> see me balancing on a ball? Come on. <laughs> we also don't know anything about Finley's backstory, so you've seen him ride a unicycle. He's amazing. <laughs> that that, that uh, right so I can get there. Is that cool? Uh, do you have the movement to do that? That was 10. Yeah, so it was tw 20, 20. 20 feet. You're right. Yeah, yeah, no, you're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So oh, that's... and then I would have tunnel fighted, by the way, in case that nope. mean, mean anything. So it's not going to mean anything here, but. Uh... <clears throat> no, I know, but I'm just letting you know. Yeah. Auto cast, I suppose. All right, I need a 19. No, no. All right, the other ones attacking Buttly Butt Buttum. <laughs> uh, well, those will both hit, and one will be a critical. Hmm. Unlimited power. Power. Taste the delicious. Dark side of the force. Medichlorian. Medichlorian. Do it. Uh, you take eight damage, and then six damage for 14 damage. Okay, let me get a calculator. It's 14. You can just... You can type uh, minus, minus, so it. if you click where your 31 is in your hit yeah, bar, just type minus if 14. you type minus 14, it'll minus it for you. You can also do the same to add. That uh, did not work. <laughs> <laughs> no, and the circle, not on your... You don't have to open up your your thing. What? So if you click on your token, three yeah. circles appear. Yeah. You click on the blue circle, yeah. and then you just type minus, 30, minus 14 in there. Hit enter. There you Holy go. shit! We're yeah. in the future. It's 2020. I didn't know that. You didn't know that. So my apologies. I didn't know that. You do know that now. You know it. You know it for sure for now. And they said I'd have to do math in my head. Fuck them. We know that you know that we know. Don't tell anyone that I'm an engineer. I wish no one would tell anyone that I'm an engineer. Don't work like that. Let uh, me tell you how microphones work, there, AP. <laughs> You know, I was thinking about our conversation where I was like, why didn't you tell me the difference between a speaker and a microphone? And you went into it and I was like, I feel really bad because I go to the minute of this, but he didn't realize I was being sarcastic. Um, this kobold disappears and Whee! in his place, several enemies appear out of the hell floor. Oh, these boys look cool. What are these? Uh, hell floor boys. They're real. Hell real floor boys. Okay. Nasty bros. The true librarians. <laughs> What's uh, going on up here? <laughs> someone's making noise. Yeah. If you just hide behind one of the bookcases and hit control, it won't be able to find you. Knock on one side of the bookcase and run around to the other side. So we're talking a hellish amalgamation 
of goblins, hobgoblins, bugbears. There might even be some orc in here somewhere. These, are these like chimeras? Like Frankenstein's they monster? Are like, yeah, it's like Frankenstein's monster, but if someone, rather than making one oh, smooth I, skin, literally yeah, was just, just like, I'm a fucking blend. <laughs> Will it blend? <laughs> and then they put it into a mold, and that mold was a giant skeletal zombie. What happened is they got they, they got like ninety percent of the way through and they're like, fuck, I ran out of hobgut. We need a monster for our horror game. Let's take six Unity assets and put them together. <laughs> I ran out of purple. I got red and I got blue. Eh, fuck it, we'll do it live. Dr. Zilvia, you're up as these hell creatures abominate themselves. Hell creatures is the wrong word. Let's call them undead uh, monstrosities, which is te the more technical and correct term. Okay, um, I can jump across this pretty easily, correct? Correct. What? You're running away? I'm getting it's to this retrograde, point. Okay. Try to go up. Because I can shoot for 120 feet, so I can like snipe from. Where I gotta I send guess. you all my Eldritch sniper memes because they're really good. So I'm gonna jump across. Yep. And then I can get on to here with my the rest yes. of my movement. You correct? uh, you won't have enough left to start climbing. No, but these dudes are tall, so I can start shooting. Absolutely. I love the idea that you're on the chandelier. The chandelier is moving slightly, and there's lots of blue lights everywhere. The shadows in this place are going fucking wild. And then you're like, pew, 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 Eldritch Blast, yeehaw! You better turn <laughs> RTX fucking on. This place is amazing. <laughs> NVIDIA hair works, bitch. Look at Geralt's hair now. Swoosh, Dude, it's I wavy. I had to turn that off. It was freaking out when I did it. It was like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, do, you, do you remember Tress effects? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go after the dude in front of Spooky. All right. Sure. Two Eldritch Blasts. A wise choice. Eldritch Blasts. Oh, shit. It's a critical hit. With crit Prince. damage too. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yep. You have three points away from crit uh, full damage. That's not bad. Can you, can you do other stuff on an Eldritch Blast? Or it You're... depends what the invocations you yeah, have. Yeah, you have to yeah. pick specifics. So. Well, this one. The first one next... hits this creature and doesn't appear to do any damage. Its head turns slowly towards you, and then you blast it in one of its skull parts, and the part just sheer it ablates. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, in one of the Oh my, my next, god, they have ERA. My <laughs> next like my next level up for Eldritch Blast, I can fire two and I can like blast them back ten feet. So between mine and your tun tunnel fighter, that would be sick. Oh no, you can do some massive shenanigans with the uh yep. the push. By the way, I can't unsee your sleeves and not think that you're wearing a sailor's outfit. <laughs> it's Ooh. my my Christmas sweater, man. It's really comfortable. It's the yeah. only sweater I own that still has a zipper on because the dryer here chews zippers like crazy. Flip it inside out for you, fucking. That doesn't matter, man. That thing just chews them up mm. and spits them out. Using a dryer in 2020? Come on, man. Hang that shit out on a line. Why? Outside in the, in the in cold. In the middle of oh. Canada? Yeah. Fucking nope. <laughs> They come back with that frosty shit. And you go to pick it off the line and you just snap it in half like, fuck! Yeah. Wait, you don't so, have like you don't have like a horse that you can set up? No, dude. We we live in a civilized society where we use machines for drawing things. Uh so so the, that in Europe. the two big guys standing on the bookshelves can't attack me because they can't see me, right? Because they're covered up, their heads are covered. <laughs> they can see you. <laughs> Uh, they got their heads in the just, books. Just, just do the, the Elder Scrolls thing. You put a basket on their heads so you can steal all their shit. One runs towards you, Kelly, and then doesn't even give a fuck about this this bookcase thing and tries <laughs> to tackle you and just hits you on your shield and bounces back. And... Uh, Finley Butt Bottom, you also have this dude trying to tackle you. It's actually a super successful tackle. Yeah. Uh, you take the following amount of damage: two d eight plus four plus two d eight. Is that a charge attack or something? Twenty two points of damage. 
Send that shit off to NASA to compute it. I shrink down to the size boom, 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 of boom, boom, boom. Yeah, what square do you want to end up in? <laughs> Are you uh, naked and wet and screaming? Here. No. Ah! <laughs> I'll make that happen, though. Make a strength saving throw real quick. Okay. Uh... I have a feeling these boys can climb. How's a six D? Like, so you are to. slammed backwards into the bookshelf directly behind you and knocked prone. Oh yay! So you tumble down with the bookshelf as you go. Uh, this boy right here walks to step over you, and then brings up one of its arms and goes, yeah, ah, ah, ah. chop straight down. He has advantage because you're prone. <laughs> you wake up on a mountain. 18. Alright, so yeah, that hits. 2d12 plus 4. Take a fuck ton. 15. You're still alive, I think. Well, no. how am I still alive? You're That's, not. Yeah. I'm looking at the wrong bar. You're at zero bear health, and now you're at zero. I don't need to do the fancy minus thing. I just know That's correct. that, you know, I'm dead. Uh, wow. Agrim. You are also attacked. Okay. Did you reckless last turn? Uh, yeah. Very well. Uh, it recklessly criticals you. Mm. So that's 4d12. Uh, it appears out of the floor and it just comes towards you, bringing both of its massive arms together to, to like, clap slam you. 27 points of damage. It's probably been a while since you've been hit this hard in one attack. Oh, so I mean, we're, we're gonna... talking three normal humans could have eaten this attack and been turned into paste. Yeah. So it's 13? Uh, correct. Hey, girl. All right. Well, I mean, you know, he said hi. Yeah. So I'm going to say hi back. Yeah. Tell me how um, you do it. I like I mean, that this fucking zombie's over there hitting the hitting the curtain still. He's just like, oh no. <laughs> I mean, th this thing, you know, hits me upside. You know, probably hits me in the face. I'm just, you know, it smacks me. Just, the fuck. So then I'm just. I mean, how? Okay, so I'm sitting on top of this bookcase, right? I'm like four. Oh, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. <laughs> we, we, we call it the Australian hello. Um, so how how tall is this thing? Because I'm standing on top of the bookcase. I'm four six or whatever. I'm like uh, max height for a dwarf. I would say this thing is at least twelve feet tall. Okay, dude, whack them all, this motherfucker. You're, this Put is the only the time hall. you've ever looked something this tall eye to eye. Okay. Oh, we're eye to eye. Oh, great. It's yeah, better. It's, the right. bookcases are eight feet tall, so you, okay. you're actually okay. slightly taller. Goes back than down the hall. <laughs> He is in the hall. You can just push him back down. <laughs> All right. So. So there's okay. no actual hole there. It's just cracks with weird ghostly okay. light and mist. Oh, out. okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna recklessly attack in the face. Hopefully. Twenty nine. Yeah. 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 Right, I'm gonna hit it again. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit him again. Yeah. Do it. That's. Fucking that's do 30. it again. <laughs> Fucking. I'm gonna do it again. Sorry. That's thirty one because I'm attacking with advantage. Yep. Wow, that extra damage. Thanks, game. Y'all welcome. Yeah. You hit this guy over and over again, smashing more and more body parts, limbs, bones off of it. It still stays. Every day was neck day for me, bitch. <laughs> neck day. <laughs> uh, Finley, I'd like you to make a death saving throw. I'm trying to think if Agram is swollen enough to have like those neck muscles to the side of his, you know, like right there. Probably. No. Nope. That's that's one on the death path. Uh, Mr. Mr. Boy, over here. You get this far. I think he could still attack. Ooh, nope. Ooh. Yikes. Uh, he probably would have had to go over difficult terrain though. Yeah, but he only moved twenty feet. That would be twenty-five. This guy okay. cannot attack. Well, shit, I had a plan to come over and misty step away with my with my elf boy, but I don't think I'll be nope. able to do that. Mm, Kelly. You're surrounded mm. by all kinds of shit. Mm, I still might be able to do that. Hang on. Let me do some quick, 
quick math real quick the quickest of maths yeah so 10, we got crush the numbers i'm looking at a 32.33 uh repeating 15. of course chance of survival oh my god he just ran in <laughs> okay i can make it to him in, at least in, like at least i could turn into a chicken <laughs> I can make I can make it to I can make it to Finley. Yeah. Now, Arthur, let me ask you this. I have Misty Step as a spell. Yes. Can I grab him and Misty Step us both up into the ceiling? I don't think so. I'm going no. to look it up. And I think the reason why Misty is Step that Misty Step is just you, Dimension Doors, but you and another person. Yes. He's still alive, so and he Misty doesn't... Step is 30 feet, right? Right. So... The, prob the problem is you can't bring another creature with you. And as long as yeah. he's alive, he counts as a creature. Yeah, you need to. Once he play. dies, you can drag his corpse along wherever you want. Keep that in mind. Because yeah. Dimension Door is you and another wheel. Yeah, Dimension Door yeah. allows you to bring people with you or teleport or teleportation yeah. circle. Mm -hmm. Missy Step is just a blink. Well, no, blink is a blink. Well, I'm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Ha 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 ha. Uh, mm. I'm only amusing myself, I can tell, but it's yeah. fine. I'm I mean, the only one I really need to entertain. I was about to say, what else is new? Mm -hmm. So, one of the things I could do is Misty step myself out of it, but that doesn't help me from helping my boy. Do you have any uh, lay on hands left? I do have lay on hands. You could technically but... Misty step to him and yeah. lay on hands him. Oh, no. Uh, no. Lay on hands is an action, though, right? Yes. Is it Misty, Misty Step, Step a bonus also... action? I believe it is. Yeah, Misty Step should be a bonus action. I mean, that's oh, that classic. Fuck, it is. Yeah, that's that classic wizard sidestep out of shit before casting another spell. Mm hmm. Dave's like, my options just expanded. So, what is the turn order here? So, Skelly Boy will go next and Duck. Okay. Finley would get fucked before he had another turn, though. Correct. Because he, he would go, well, he was going uh, before me. Yeah. But so does... even if I did all of that and then <laughs> Misty stepped away and you would get up and then only to get fucking bitch slapped again. Let me ask, though. Let me ask. Does Kelly mm. as a character know that? Or is Kelly's primary concern get Finley up? Help Finley survive at I mean... costs. I mean, you could also slap him with a heel and then chuck his ass over here or something. I don't know. Well, no, because I wouldn't be able to heal and pick him up and throw him at the same time. Unless, um, unless dear Arthur would allow me to do something like that. I will allow you to kick roll him five feet away from you. That still wouldn't save him from the next turn, though. No, no I wouldn't. That's not my concern. <laughs> <laughs> You're not my girlfriend. So let's see, Ducker. <laughs> Ducker, you, you, you can go before him. Is there any way that you can help out a Spooty? The only thing if I, I, if I move him, if, if I, I can move him, if I can aggro him away, because I'm the one doing damage to him now. But that won't matter if I get Spooty up there. I can if then I can I get him to kill. if I can get him to move away. Magic the dwarf, and I'll just. Do I don't know if like if they're smart enough to like kill, then he's fucked. I, I mean, if he looks, I mean, he probably looks dead. I mean, they were talking. They were. They, they, would, they how would, intelligent these things are. They were talking, right, Arthur? They have formed uh, Gurish words. Can I do any sort of history check on these guys at all? It is a religion check. A religion check. Okay. I would I would also allow a history check to see if you can understand uh, ancient tales, perhaps of adventurers. From that uh, eighteen. You have history. heard of such creatures in ancient adventures, okay. indeed. Uh, quite old, uh, predating humanity. Old. Um. Old elven and dwarven, sometimes gnomish adventurers would encounter these 
um, I wouldn't call them Hellspawn, but they are a sort of godchild. Uh, they were created by the god of death, the lady, and they are empowered by her directly. They're like little mm -hmm. batteries of her issue. That sounds like they're going to kill him. Probably, yeah. The only way, like... Is there, like, some sort of taunt skill? Um, not really. The closest you can get is, like... Oh, damn it. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not Finley... I'm not, I'm not Kelly the Orc anymore, because I used to have something like that. Well, yeah, Battlemaster battle battle has something mm -hmm. to where, like, if they attack anybody other than you, they just do fuck yep. all. But there's, yeah. not, there's not, like, an in, like a Warcraft, like, hey, attack, you know, taunt, you, they... I would. The only the only thing that I can do is go close to Finley and protect him with Sentinel, but that's not going to kill the creature. I would know? allow you to um, make such a taunt, Daka. It's using, like the, using intimidate. It's like the movies, you know, where they go for the killing blow and they just get smacked in the face, and there's a guy who's been missing for the whole episode and he just showed up. I don't remember. I mean, it is a charisma yeah. skill. So, it would I mean, need to be specific, I, though, right? Like, uh, yeah. your taunt can't just be, hey, come hit me. It has to be something that would piss off such a creature. Shit on its god. He, but Daka doesn't know about that's any true, of that. That's right. Ke that's only true. Kelly knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Only Kelly knows that the lady and them. How long has uh, it been? Right. How long has mm -hmm. it been since we Daka faced that, have. like, abhorrent Eldritch Horror thing? Weren't Eldritch like, Horror thing. Are you oh, talking you the, all the way back the in the monster? Corgi dungeon? We're talking about the pit thing. Yeah, the pit thing. It's oh, like... the Balhanoth. Uh, it's been about slightly less than a day. Yeah. Okay. We've had one long here's, rest since then. So. Yes. Here's what I will do. Oh, Arthur. okay. Okay. No, no, no. I got it. Yeah. What are you going to yeah. do? Yeah. I have my fair presence up. Okay. If it fails on a wisdom, they save it. I should run away from me if I run over there. Correct. That could get it away. I mean, that's something. And it can't willing, it. it can't willingly run towards you, right? Is it the, no. that one? No. It's it's frightened. If it fails, it's wisdom save. I don't know how wise these things are, but I mean, it's a hail mary, but it's better than anything else we got. Okay. Um. All right, then I'm gonna spend my turn. I'll take my two actions. My, my two attacks. Um, hang on, what, what spell level is uh, Misty Step? Misty Step is level two. Yeah, second. It's level two, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do, Arthur. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to attack with the Flame Tongue mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on the big boy in front of me. Yeah. Uh, let me just swap to this guy, okay. Big hit. Good damage. When you say big guy, you mean this guy up here. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All mm -hmm. right. I mean, it's a huge hit, but it seems relatively unfazed by that amount of damage. That's interesting. How much did you end up doing to him? 20, uh, 37, Something like 37, right? yeah. That, it was affected by that much, but still not near destruction. Wait, All right, I person... would... Are you talking about the one I attack? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, I attack the thing. All right, I'll do another attack on him. Uh, that will hit. All right. This and time, it last... seems to have felt your blow. And now I will um, burn a level one spell to do a smite on him as well. Oh, you're a motherfucker. All right. Well, it's an undead, so you get that extra... get that juice with the squeeze. Yeah. You get that lemon with the lime. So that's an extra. Is that two d eight? Which well, which might is it? Good? Level one. Well, I was asking. Uh, I mean, it's two d eight is... plus one for it being undead. Yes, so it'll be three d eight. He's, mm -hmm. he's using the um, paladin smiting. Mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, so you said three d eight plus one? Uh, no, just three d eight. Sorry. Okay. For an extra 15. And that's radiant damage, right? Yeah. It hurts. It hurts so much, but it's not dead. 
Uh, you hit it uh, over and over again with the flame tongue longsword. You force holy energy into this thing, and it goes. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Um, I'm I'm conflicted. Should I misty step out of here, or should I stay? Um. I mean. Here's the thing, we've already lost one person. And if Daka can save him, then it'll be it'll be tough for the rest of you to get out. Yeah. And Daka won't be out of oh, what's your strength at, Daka? Can you lift uh elf friend? I have uh thirteen. So no. <laughs> it'll uh, be like, it'll be hard, but I probably could. I mean I mm. All right, Arthur. I'm I'm going to I'm going to play the paladin. I will stay where I am, and for my bonus action, I will activate tunnel fighter. Very well. And I wish I had my spells. Uh, your tunnel fighter sentinel will go off as a mm -hmm. skeleton tries to get behind you. Run to dodger. Just reach back and bitch slap the thing as it comes into play. It is stopped, but not dead. Roger, roger. Three skeletons. Rolling some real shitty rolls. For 22. Anywhere. Nope. No, friends. At the end of the round, allow me to introduce you to a break screen idea. The idea that we're going to take <laughs> a break and return in eight minutes for the second half. Stick around for that premium undead With murder the first combat. half of the battle's XP so we can level up in the middle of a fight. <laughs> oh man, this has no. been sweaty as fuck. This has been a sweaty fight. This has been a sweaty fuck. <laughs> we'll be back shortly. Uh, enjoy some ads. Enjoy some Twitch Prime. What? Twitch Prime? What's that? Anyway.